restaurant in the Georgia, the Northern Georgia, North Georgia area? Yeah, it's just um, a little bit north of Atlanta. So about like 20 minutes north. So I thought I'd hop over to the Yelp reviews and just read a couple for you. This restaurant received an overall four star rating. So I'm just going to read some of the reviews for you. So one of the reviews says, had food from this place for a family event and it was amazing. Every item I had was flavorful and well-made and I loved having a little taste of Nigerian culture in each bite. I think that this is definitely a place to come to with family so you can try a little bit of everything. Partially because everything is so good but also because I believe these dishes are meant to be eat, eaten together. It was also my first time trying fufu, which I absolutely loved. It's a soft, slightly sweet plantain dough you eat with the igusi soup. Together, the combo is a match made in heaven. Highly recommend to all. Another review states, If you are looking for the best Nigerian food in Atlanta, Ike's is where you should be. The music, food, and overall ambiance is on point, and you will not be disappointed. The drive is the only bother with it being so far from the city, but it's worth it. I always start with suya and have goat stew with the white rice and plantain for my meal. I also usually get the pounded yam and igusi to go. Yes, it's that good. I always get way too much food, but never let it go to waste. So what we have here is um, we have some jollof rice, we have plantains, we have some chicken soup or beef suya, beef suya, we have fufu here, and then right here we have igusi, igusi soup or igusi. Yeah, it's a igusi. Um, it doesn't really look like a soup. It kind of looks more like a stew, but it has goat, goats in it, and what else? Chicken, goat and beef. Goat and beef. Okay. And then we also have our ginger beers. And this will be the thumbnail. Or wait, we should do the thumbnail with this, huh? Well, anyways. <laughs> so now we're gonna try it. Um, I personally never had fufu before, but in all the videos that I've seen, it looks it looks pretty good. So this so here's the here's the fufu. It. I'm gonna take it out of the plastic wrapper. Yeah, I've never had any any of this before. So this is my first time having. I think it's my first time having African food. I'm pretty sure. I've had African food before, but my best friend is um, Nigerian, so. I've had it. I've never had food food before though, so. Okay, I'm just gonna scoop up some of the rice. I'm gonna start pl plating my food, so. But yeah, I've had jollof rice before, which I absolutely love, but I love rice. And to me, it kind of tastes like a when I've had it, it kind of reminds me of like a jambalaya. So I think that's why I like it. And I love plantains. 
so we were told that it's that I guess normally you would have basmati or is it jasmine yeah, rice? Yeah, she asked us if we wanted jasmine rice or I don't know what the other rice she said, but I mean, I just, I said jasmine because that's just what I'm familiar with, but. Oh, so the, the jalaf rice is made with jasmine. Yeah, she wants to know if we wanted it made with jasmine rice or some other type of, of rice. rice. So we, yeah. we said jasmine rice. So what do you want to try first? Do you want to just try the, you want to try the, the, the fufu with the, you want to try the. Yeah, so I guess first, first we can try the fufu and I'm not going to lie, I was a little nervous about this because I just never tried anything like this before, but I think I'll like it. So. I'm not sure how much like you're supposed to you get a large amount or small amount. I'm going to start with the small amount. Okay. And just going to go for it. Okay. All right, so I'm going to try it. That's good. Yeah, I like it. Um, I would say the food food to me almost tastes like mashed potatoes. Yeah, it does. It tastes like mashed potatoes, but like a like a firmer, like a firm mashed potato that you can just like grab. Yeah, it does have the mashed potato. Yeah, flavor to it. Type of texture. Except it just tastes like a mashed potato with like, obviously like no seasoning in it. <clears throat> and the agusi tastes kind of, mm. it has a little bit of spice to it. It has good flavor. Let me try it one more time. Yeah, the agusi is good. It does have some heat to it though. So. If you don't like spiciness. It's not a lot. It's not. Yeah, it's not really spicy. It's just kind of like. But we also got the um, Ghana, the Ghana version. So they had a Nigerian version of it, which has like a red stew to it. And the Ghana one just was the, it looks like it was just the goosey. So that's what we got. Um, and it and has the goat in here too. I can't. Did you have any of the meat anywhere? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. I would say the fufu, like it really doesn't have any flavor to it. It's really just like a means to scoop up the food. So like obviously I wouldn't <clears throat> but the I wouldn't eat it by itself. But like, But the agusi has a um I'm trying to explain the flavor, but it doesn't really I'm trying to find a flavor to compare it to. And I can't really do it. It's just it's a good flavor. It tastes really mm -hmm. good. It's very, um, there's a lot of flavors going on and it does have a little spice to it. <clears throat> the vegetable in here, I'm not sure. I guess that's a goosey. I think a goosey is, is a vegetable. correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I think a goosey is the actual vegetable that's in here, but. And then we have a special guest that's gonna try the food food with us. Mm. We'll get his um, opinion on it. Before we eat it all. I'm gonna try. Um, What's up guys? This is Will. <laughs> this is Will. Um, Hopping in. To, he's, um, and he's uh, actually tried it before. So this isn't this isn't his first time. Trying so he can let us know if this, if this, um, if this, if this is equivalent to what he had before, or if it tastes a little better or if it's about the same, because this place is was rated the best um, African food in this um, this area. 
Yeah. And it's called um, IK's um, Cafe and Grill. Yeah, IK's Cafe and Grill comes very highly um, rated and recommended. I can see. I don't know. It's good. Um, I had a different version of it. It's good over. It's good. I had a different version of it. Um, Get more of the camera, baby. It's good. I had a different <laughs> version of it. Um, it does have a little kick to it, um, but it's really good though. Yeah, it's. I like it, but Which I like a little. I like a little everything. spice. So, <laughs> want to get another opinion? Try some more just to get mm -hmm. one more some opinion. More. Mm hmm. It seems to have a lot of meat in it. When I've seen videos of it done before, it just it seemed like it was more stew and it didn't seem to have as much meat. This one seems to have Yeah, this one's fuller. It, it seems to be it seems to be It has like a lot of stuff in it. So it's not really like not as not as stewy. It's more like a as um I've seen before. Yeah, it's not very liquidy at all. Yeah, that's good. But like we said, it's not the um not it's not the Nigerian version, so I don't know if that one that one had like more of a soupy type of look Yeah, to because it. it had a tomato um stew, stew with, it, yeah. with it. So that probably would have been more a little mm -hmm. bit more um had more liquid in it. But this but it's good. I tried the the beef suya and it's really good. It's a grilled we got beef, right? It's a grilled mm -hmm. beef and it's really good. <laughs> it has a really good flavor. You try yours? I'm gonna try it now. Okay, the spice kicks up afterwards. Really? Mm -hmm. For me, it wasn't like an initial spice. Mm -hmm. This, what's this here? It's like a sauce. They say, mm, I guess so there's some more you can put on it. That goes on the. Yeah, so it came with a little spice thing. I think it was spicy because she said that you could put it on top of it. Yeah, some kind of spice rub. But I don't do spicy. I'll try it. So I could smell the what smells like cayenne pepper coming from out of there. So that's that's <laughs> enough to let me know that it doesn't really smell spicy. Though. I need to stay clear of that. You want to try it with this? No, I'm good. It doesn't really smell spicy. It smells more like. Try. Um, it smells like cayenne pepper. I don't know what it is. I'm not. I have no I'll idea. I'll try it. I'll be the brave one. I don't know if I put too much. <coughs> it's not spicy. Well, mm -hmm. I'll pass. It smells very spicy to me. So I'm gonna try the um, jollof rice. I've never had jollof rice before, so I'm gonna try it and see. My verdict is good. Um, yeah, it's good. I would get it again. Mm -hmm. The jollof rice is good per usual. I just feel like, but I mean, I like rice, so. Any rice I have, I'm gonna like it, but um, it's really good. I like jollof rice. And I already had it before, so I knew I was gonna like it. Yeah, the jollof rice is good. It has a little kick to it as well. It has a little spice to it, but it's not. Like but not too much. It's not overly. It's you know, it's tolerable. But it's very good. The jollof rice has a good flavor as well. Yeah. So. Um. Yeah, two thumbs up for the jollof rice. And then, we also have um, plantains that came with the our jollof rice. Oh, you already got mm -hmm. one. So I'm gonna try that as well. And same thing, I've had plantains before, and I like plantains, so it's basically just like a 
the fried banana. Pretty much. Yeah, the plantains are like plantains I've had in the past. And I, and I also like plantains, so. No surprise there that the plantains are good. So what I do want to try is I'm not sure I can't distinguish. I'm trying to I think I think I will say is the beef is a little on the dry side. I will say that. Yeah, it is. The, it is. The beef is kind of dry. Like overcooked a little bit. I've only had goat one other time. Um, I'm trying to See if this is goat that I'm eating with beef. I know goat tastes different, a lot different than beef, but I want to try the goat. That's definitely goat, it's not beef. <clears throat> yeah, I could tell it tastes the goat. The goat has a... Has like a gamey. It's, it's very gamey. It's not bad, but... It has a very distinct flavor. It's, yeah, it's not, it's not my preference. Um, it's gamey and then it's kind of not that... Um, you want to try more of it? I don't know. It's not. I don't know. It was probably like grilled or something. So it's kind of a little bit on the charred. Really? You don't think it's kind of charred? I don't think so. It's not bad. I mean, you have to like go. I would say if you, if you don't like go, I don't know if getting the goat would be the it's not bad, but it is gamey. But yeah. but I expected that. But I've had goat before. It was actually curry. It was um, a, a curry goat or goat curry. I don't know how you, which way you say it, but and it was good. This is good too, but I wouldn't recommend it if if you never if, had it. Yeah. I, well, not really. I don't know. If you don't like meat that tastes gamey, then you probably wouldn't like the goat because it does have a very Or if you don't know what gamey. gamey meat is, I would say like, I mean, if you just know that you just, I don't know, maybe just stick into like the, what was the other option, chicken or beef? Yeah, the other options were chicken, beef, and I think she said even fish too. Yeah. So, I'm gonna rate the meal. I'm gonna rate the um, the agusi. I'm gonna rate a. I'm gonna say an eight out of ten. Only because I think maybe I would have gotten just the beef and not the goat. That's the only reason why. And I'm gonna rate the jollof rice a nine. And I'm gonna rate the, um, I'm not gonna rate the plantain because I think plantain pretty much tastes, mm -hmm. you know, it tastes the same pretty much. Um, I don't know, every time I've had it, I think there's no reason I'm to rate that because plantain is plantain. But the, you said it's beef suya? Mm -hmm. The beef suya I would give, it's really dry. So I would yeah. get, I would probably give this a five just because yeah. it just wasn't. It was like they overcooked it. Yeah, they were really busy and I think they kind of rushed it or I don't know what yeah. happened, but it's yeah, very, very dry. it's it's pretty dried out. So I would give this a five. 
it has good flavor, but it was it's, it's definitely over overcooked. overcooked. They left it on the grill a little too long. And what would you rate yours? Um, I'd rate the juicy like a. Mm, Maybe like a, like a seven. Um, and I think that's just because like, I don't know if goat is my preference, um, but I was trying to just, you know, try it. They're trying to be adventurous. Yeah. I'm a pretty adventurous person. But I think I would have probably preferred the, um, the beef or something like that. But aside from the goat, I mean, the other flavors are really good. I like the consistency. Um, I just think that I would have preferred something besides the goat. I think um, the fufu. I mean, it, like I said, it just kind of tastes like mashed potatoes to me. But like a, like a, almost like a. I don't know how to describe the texture. Like a clay or something. <laughs> like the texture feels kind of like a dough. That's what it is. Yeah, it's very. It's doughy. like a doughy mashed potato with no flavor. Um, and then, but it complements the. Yeah, it, it complements as well. It goes with that. I can see it's why like, you yeah. eat it together. Yeah, exactly. So I mean, I don't know what to rate the fufu because I never have nothing to compare it to. But um, I would rate the agusi like I said a seven, and then the jollof rice I would give a nine. Um, and the suya, I like I said it was dried out, so you know, I would give it like a five. Yeah, so I would definitely recommend this restaurant. It was very busy. They have live music. Mm -hmm. um, it's a very, it's very, very lively, very lively place. Um, the food is obviously um, comes highly recommended because there were a ton of people. The, the, mm -hmm. They had a bunch of orders that were lined up and. If you if you're in this area, I would definitely recommend, recommend that you you know give it a, a, a try, especially if you um, eat Nigerian or African African food a lot, and you know, and you're looking for a place to to go locally to you know to get some African food. I would definitely recommend it. Yeah, I would recommend it too. It was really good. Um, the people that worked there were really nice. They were very nice. The people they were really there. helpful. You know, because we had never had it before. Um, and yeah, if you're in the Atlanta area, you definitely want to give it a try. <laughs> okay. And, um, yeah. Yep. So that's it. We're going to wrap this up and just remember to, um, to like, um, this video, like, subscribe, share it, comment at the bottom and let us know. And let us know what we should have tried. What, yeah. What um, you think we should have tried and, um, and your thoughts on, um, like food yeah. food and stuff. if we're eating it properly because sometimes you know you're not eating you know maybe we're not eating the, the food the right way or whatever just anything that you know we may be doing incorrectly or what are things that suggestions on what we can order the next time so with that being said um we'll see you later we'll see you on the next video thanks for watching thanks. bye